Jeffrey doesn't even care about being productive. And then he sees you. You've been trying to be more disciplined, to start a business, to make online income, and Jeffrey hates you for that. But, but, but why are you trying to make a business? That's stupid. You're stupid. No one can make that much money. Jeffrey is the bottom of the bucket crab, snipping at your legs as you try to climb up. What a loser. I took everyone's advice. I went to university, and then I got a job that I hated, which would make me cry. And that was my life, until I started reading books. This is where my life changed. That actually brings us to the sponsor of this video, the very first sponsor we've ever had. Seriously, we've had over 100 sponsor requests, and this is the first and only one I've accepted, short form. We'll talk more about short form later. So I was working a full-time job, and I started reading The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss, and I was amazed. This guy was saying that you could reduce your work hours whilst increasing your income and your freedom. This book gave me the idea to build a business where I didn't need to work all day, where instead I could spend my time living instead of working. I followed the steps in this book which we're going to discuss here and it all worked. I've literally reached the awesome point in life where I don't really have to work for money and I can spend a lot of time doing free stuff like giving lectures on self-improvement to the young guys in my discord server, making friends and developing skills. All I have to do is make a few of these goofy videos which I enjoy anyway. Adonis. Adonis is an entrepreneur at heart, a lifelong problem solver. He could never imagine himself at a desk in a normal job taking commands from a superior. Adonis is part of the new rich, the new age entrepreneurs who are doing things differently. And so Adonis lives a life worth living, a free life, where he isn't constrained to a work shift. He has the power to go out and explore the vast world whenever he pleases. Adonis lives his life as a man living to his own values not the values of the nine to five job he works at. Hood down or up, boys. I think I look kind of sexy with my hood up, you know, fluffy gangster. <laughs> the 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss is the first book that I read outside of the education system. Is this book for you? It depends if you want to be part of the deferrers or the new rich. Think of the deferrers as the doctor who hates his life. A guy who had to study for like 10 years and now he works 60 hours a week in an underpaid job. And he doesn't even have the capacity to feel fulfilled because he's so overworked. And the new rich is like the young entrepreneur who does things differently. This is the YouTuber, the TikTok dancer, and the affiliate marketer. The deferrers want to retire a little early. Maybe, maybe 55 instead of 65. Oh boy! But the new rich want mini retirements every year. Like think about that, taking trips to different places around the world. The deferrers want to become managers, but the new rich want to become the owners. The deferrers are content with their get rich slow, work 60 hours a week for the rest of your life in a job that you dislike. The new rich are sickened by that. We want freedom. We only want to work when we actually want to. So you want to join the new rich? Tim Ferriss shows us exactly how to do it and I'm living proof that it works. You're gonna learn how to reduce your work hours whilst producing the best quality work that you can do. And also you're gonna get the simple formula, the step-by-step -step formula of creating an online business that fulfills these principles. You'll be able to take mini retirements every year wherever you wanna go. So firstly, there's three steps to drastically reduce your work hours. Eliminate, outsource, and deep work. First, eliminate the work and the tasks that aren't crucial. Then outsource what you can. Then with the remaining tasks, only do deep, hyper-focused work. First, do this journaling practice this for the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. If you only had two hours per day to work, what tasks would you do and what tasks wouldn't you do? Answer that question. And then also answer this one. If you only had two hours per week, to do work. What tasks would you do? What tasks wouldn't you do? Answering this question will make you realize what tasks are actually crucial and what tasks could potentially be replaced for something more beneficial. And right now your brain will think of excuses like, oh no, no, I, I know that I wouldn't have done those tasks, but I've got to do them anyway because sometimes I can get a benefit from them. In the modern day, we're obsessed with this any benefit mindset. Like we'll, we'll, we'll grab onto it. anything that could potentially help us, we'll grab onto it. Instead of thinking, okay, if we let that go, if we reduce our work hours and we have more freedom, potentially we could get a bigger benefit from doing something else. Whatever the tasks you just identified as uncrucial. Experiment to see if you can take a big step back from them. You could literally stop them immediately or you could phase them out or you could outsource the work and pay someone else to do it for you. That's why I got a video editor quite early on this channel. Also eliminate information overload. I haven't watched the news in ages. I specifically avoid news headlines and highlights. I haven't been on Reddit in a long time. I am well and truly ignorant and uninformed about world politics. And guess what? This is the happiest I've ever 
been. This is the most productive I've ever been in my life. And I've still kept safe. I've still kept somewhat up to date just by the general conversations that I end up having with random people. I'm no longer surrounded by depressing or anxiety inducing headlines like breaking news, breaking news, bad shit's happening, people are dying. I don't see that shit anymore. And because of that, I've saved so much time. So at this point, you've eliminated quite a lot of unnecessary work. Now there's only crucial work that needs to be done. But before you do it, see if you can pay someone else to do it for you. If you can make $25 an hour and you can pay someone $15 to save you an hour, that's a fantastic investment. See if you can outsource some tasks to personal assistants that you can find on the website fiverr.com or you can even go to your trustworthy friends. I now have four video editors and a personal assistant. That means I don't have to edit my own videos, which was a very, very time consuming task. I don't even upload and schedule and you know write the description and the title of my own YouTube videos. I don't write my own marketing emails and I don't do my own customer service. I pay my team to do all that for me and that saves me so much time. That means my work hours is reduced so much so now I can just entirely focus on the biggest and most important tasks which no one else could do which is recording these videos. You've eliminated the bullshit tasks. You've outsourced what you can. Now it's time to actually make sure the tasks that you're doing, you're doing productively. Let's say you're doing work and you get a text message. So you click on the text message, you reply to this person. How long does that take you? How long does that distract you for? 10 seconds? It's more like 15 minutes that your brain loses focus when you switch tasks. This is how most people work and those people just don't produce great results because their brain is just constantly switching from task to task. They can never get into a deep workflow state. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna start the task, you're going to stare at the screen for 60 to 120 minutes and you're going to finish the task without looking away. If you stop the task halfway to check your phone or check your emails, you're a Jeffrey. One hour to two hour blocks of work before you have any kind of break. Like f the Pomodoro tech. 25 minutes and then it broke. Come on, bro. Are you a little kid that you can only work for 25 minutes straight before you need a little break for sweeties for, for Facebook break? A, meta a metaverse break? <laughs> the Pomodoro technique is like the biggest, most popular productivity tactic that's a lie and it just sells to the little spurgs you think like 25 minutes like you're not going to accomplish much in 25 minutes turn your phone off turn your notifications off i don't get notifications on my phone my phone doesn't make any noises it doesn't light up or anything the smallest distraction will completely reduce your work and your output your production and even your level of philosophical spiritual fulfillment from your work because it's just trash work. You're not working to your capacity. You're not working to a level that you feel proud. That's what Cal Newport, the author of a different book called Deep Work states. We're going to discuss the simple step-by-step -step formula to build this business that gives you online income. But first, let's talk about the sponsor of this video. Jeffrey doesn't read. He thinks reading is stupid, but he doesn't want to admit that he can't read. He doesn't even realize what he's missing out on. All of Jeffrey's problems could be fixed by getting the wisdom from some quality books and becoming inspired to take action. But because Jeffrey only consumes low quality content, like motivational videos on YouTube, Jeffrey never improves. Adonis. Adonis is a wise man. Men learn from their mistakes, but wise men learn from the mistakes of others. Adonis spends his time reading, learning, and contemplating. And Adonis' favorite way to read book summaries is using short form. Short form is like a book summary service where you sign up and get access to thousands of books that you've always wanted to read, but never really got the time to do so. They have a one page book summary that gives you like the general learning lessons in just 10 minutes. But then they also have a detailed summary which goes through the chapters. These are some steroid level book summaries, like they get posted to r slash natty or not on reddit. Adonis is impressed. Adonis uses short form in the gym on his rest breaks after incline benching three plates. If you want to read an awesome summary of this book, the four hour work week or the book I just mentioned, Deep Work, then I think you'll really like this. I'm very, very grateful that we have our first sponsor and it's one that I can truly recommend. I casually told Sam, our first video editor, that I read on my rest breaks in the gym and he's quite surprised because that's, that's a top level productivity tactic. Short form is kind of like Netflix for book summaries and I've personally been using in short form for a couple of weeks. In the gym on my rest breaks, which I'm actually really, really proud of. Whenever I take Ubers and the guy doesn't really seem like he wants to talk, I wait for my dentist appointment where I've got like these invisible braces. I usually just end up like just scrolling on social media or going on Discord, but now I'm actually reading book summaries and I, I feel more productive than ever. Like I'm getting self-improvement knowledge around the clock. The genres that they have on short form have been perfect for me. They've got business, entrepreneurship, and self-improvement. They've even got an entire section on relationships and I know that you're a horny motherfucker. I've went through a bunch of books already I recapped the four-hour work week for this video. I read a summary of Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, and that's like the OG book which talks about visualizations. And the short-form summary reminded me of the importance of our self-image, just constantly 
constantly improving your self-image to improve the rest of your life. And on short form, you even get to vote for the new books that they should summarize. They take requests and they release new books every week. They've set me up with a link that gives you a five day free unlimited access and also an additional 20% off their annual membership, which is now like 46% cheaper than the monthly subscription. My link is shortform.com slash Hamza. Go to the description of this video and click on that link right now to sign up. You can start making mental gains whilst you make muscle gains. Now the simple formula to build your online business that fulfills the principles of the four hour work week and allows you to enjoy your freedom. Now, quick disclaimer, it is a simple formula, but it is difficult. You have to dedicate your life to this for the next year or so to get it running off the ground. That's exactly what I did. Number one, practice the productivity tactics outlined in this video, eliminating the bullshit tasks that don't even need to be done, outsourcing it to other people and making sure that when you are doing work, you are so entirely focused. You don't allow yourself to be distracted by your phone or by social media. Trust me when I say you'll never become an entrepreneur unless you can actually do the work at home and most people can't. Most people get so distracted at home because you've never even been taught productivity tactics by school. So this is your replacement. You have to start implementing these productivity tactics and literally start practicing them. View them like they're skills in a video game and you're just trying to level up and get experience in the skill. So you're not going to be amazing at first. You're going to start off as a noob but over time you'll level up. Number two, start a social media channel. This is the best online business by far. It's not even close. Now, whatever excuse you have to delay doing this, because I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not ready. My videos aren't going to be good. Whatever excuse you have, they are invalid because that's the point. Your first videos aren't supposed to be good. The beginner starts just by bench pressing the empty bar and maybe every week he'll be able to increase it slightly. You've got to understand that you're the beginner right now. You can't just come in with some professional level videos. Your first videos are going to be trash. That's the whole point. That's like the weird curve that most people just stop. They make a couple of videos, realize that they're not good at it right now, and then they stop. The people who go on to make these business who live probably the life that you want to live. We just continued after the shitty videos. The first 10, 20 videos are gonna be trash, bro. Like your first few videos are gonna get two views. <laughs> it's just me and you watching them. Number three, create content based on a specific niche that you understand. So this is pretty much to make videos or content or pictures based on your life story with an important focus on just one topic. For me, my videos are my life story, but the topic is self-improvement. And inside of that, I've done like an ultra niche of like aesthetic bodybuilding and the life that came from that and you know the confidence in the girls and everything what is it for you what's the important part of your story maybe it's mental health maybe it's fitness like me maybe it's studying number four show your journey and give advice to anyone who's one step behind you this is so important you don't have to be the ultra leader with the big ego you don't have to do that you are literally just one step in front of your ideal audience and you're just going to teach them how to take that one step so for me i started meditating then i would make a video on how to meditate i learned something new from a book and i literally come to the camera and teach it to you as if i'm the professional but it's like I only learned that like two weeks ago. You only have to be one step in front of people and the content you create should just be based on the niche, the audience that you want to help. Number five, post consistently and be okay with content for a little while. Ali Abdul is a well-known YouTuber and I like one of his statements which he says, post content at least two times a week for two years and your life will never be the same. Number six, outsource as soon as you can. As soon as you can afford it, start to outsource some of the tasks that other people can do for you. Now, no one can really record themselves on the video. You have to be the person on camera or the person with the pictures. But for YouTube, you can get video editors and a personal assistant that does a lot of the tasks and that's exactly how I've set up my business. Number seven, gain an audience to people who are similar to you. So these are people who will randomly find your videos and feel like you're really talking to them. Like you've just gave them some life changing advice because you were able to just speak in a way that they really understood and related to. At this point, just keep posting. Understand that every bit of content that you post is like a lottery ticket. And number eight, this is where the money really kicks in. You've already got an audience of people who like you. It's time to sell them a premium product. So this is how you make most of your money in an online business. You make a fair amount of money straight from YouTube revenue and Skillshare and all these platforms and like a sponsorship like short form. But you make the most amount of money when you sell your own premium product. And the best product that you can sell in this modern day is an online course. Now you don't need to know so much about this right now because this is way ahead in the future, but just keep in mind that's probably the digital online course that you'll be selling. The course is simply a collection of content. So mine is a bunch of videos and, and a bunch of books and like workout routines and everything. You package up a bunch of knowledge and you sell it as like the guide to cure a specific problem. So someone who really wants to build an aesthetic body, like a 10 out of 10 body, or someone who feels a little bit conscious of their body and they want more confidence, they'll see my video course and think, oh my God, that's exactly what I want. That the problem that I'm going through right now seems to be solved by this product and people will buy that. And finally, number nine, keep your purpose up, keep helping people, and above all else, maintain a very positive brand image and that will secure your long-term success. Let's talk about the reward of all of this, freedom. 
a low amount of work hours so that you can choose what you want to do. Instead of working eight to 10 hour days, I work around one to two, a couple days a week. So what do I spend all my time with? Honestly, a lot of it spends on fitness. I go to the gym and I spend a while in there. I've been able to take like longer rest breaks because I just thought, why am I, I don't need to rush myself. I do yoga, I do kickboxing, I go to the sauna, I do some swimming, I do some running and cycling. I leave 10 hours for bedtime which means that my health has never been better. I'm always down for an adventure, especially when I'm with a girl. So we'll just go somewhere with no stress. I'll take two, three days off work in, no problem. For the rest of my time, I do a lot of like self-improvement habits. I read a lot, I meditate and I journal. And honestly, I'm very grateful for this book by Tim Ferriss. I'm getting to live like my ideal life right now. One final beautiful reward of this four hour work week lifestyle is mini retirements. It's this idea of not waiting until the normal person's retirement at age 65 and you're almost dead and you've got Parkinson's and that's when you get to enjoy your life. When you've got a business like this, you can take months to go travel whenever you want. You can take a mini retirement. You can choose whether you work or not during that mini retirement. So for me personally, I would record videos, I'd keep up the videos, but I'd probably do nothing else. This is the new rich lifestyle, like the ability, the freedom to go wherever you want. Like if you wanna go learn Muay Thai in Thailand for a couple of months, you can go because you're making online income. So you're almost technically still working when you're abroad and enjoying yourself. You wanna go learn salsa dancing in Spain for a month, go ahead. Think of all the experiences that you could have. And this is not the same as normal people's holidays. Since you have online income, you can spend way longer in these places and it really feels like slow travel where you integrate in their culture. Go to a third world country and, and volunteer for free, build houses or teach English. It's a beautiful house which all came to me and maybe future you just through this book. And again, if you wanna read a detailed summary of this book, my short form link is in the description. You can go there now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.